Hi guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another PUBG update video. The PTS is out right now and I'm going over the patch notes. Mostly the changes are what we already know so far and I've went over them, but ledge grabbing did make it in as well to this update. If you find this video useful, a like is appreciated. Let's look at the details then for the new features in this update. We have a new vehicle, the BRDM2. The BRDM2 can only be called in as a special care package using the flare gun on all maps and it replaces the armoured UAZ. Over waterways or terrain, this amphibious vehicle increases your options to navigate firefights and the battlegrounds themselves. It has a total HP of 2500 and its health is twice as much as the UAZ while its gigantic sturdy wheels cannot be damaged. This powerful bulletproof vehicle can reduce income and damage such as ammunition based assaults as well as grenades and red zone damage. It's an amphibious vehicle so you can continue to travel on ground after you've been travelling on the water but you cannot shoot while on board. It has a capacity of 4 players and it has a top war speed of 22 km per hour with 102 on the road. Damage modifiers that BDRM2 receives differ per mode, so in solo mode the damage taken increases by 80% and in duo the damage taken increases by 40%. Obviously you have more chance of being shot at if you're playing with more than one player in your team. We have a new weapon, the Deagle. The Deagle is a handgun that deals the strongest pistol damage with great muzzle velocity and will be spawning on all maps. The Deagle can deal 62 damage per shot and can take both the red dot and holographic sights, various magazines and a laser sight that improves hipfire accuracy. With greater than average pistol damage and muzzle velocity comes harder of course controlled recoil. The Deagle has a single fire type that uses 45 ACP ammo and the standard magazine fits 7 rounds but it can be extended to 10 with the extended mag. Next improved loot sorting. Loot is now more organised for player crates, vicinity loot and care packages now, so loot should be easier to manage. All replace weapon skins, you can automatically replace the skin on a picked up weapon with your own one in the new option. You can toggle all replace weapon skin options in the settings menu and when toggled on, the weapon skin you pick up will have the skin replaced with your own weapon skin. If there is no skin to replace, the weapon skin of the picked up weapon will stay as it is. Next guys we have ledge grabbing. Ledge grabbing allows you to take new paths by climbing up the edge of roofs, fences and obstacles up to 2.5 meters high and jump from buildings to building or container to container where you couldn't previously do that. Now the player can move to places they weren't able to reach before, now you'll be able to implement new strategies of gameplay. You can activate ledge grabbing by either jumping or vaulting and then continuing to press the jump button or by pressing the jump button at the right time in mid-air. You can cancel the ledge grab while it's activated and fall to the ground by following the same method of cancelling the way that you cancel vaulting and climbing. Now there is one known issue with this, the ledge grabbing right now incorrectly activates automatically after jumping and that is an issue that will be fixed for the live update. It should only work if you press A for example on Xbox or by pressing A at the right time when mid-air but it will automatically do it right now. Next, improved gas cans. Added strategic elements to the gas can. As soon as a gas can explodes, it will deal damage to all players in a radius around it. When the gas can is blown up, it deals damage in a radius around it as well, dealing more damage to those close by. To use, drop a gas can on the ground and damage it with bullets or a throwable, which will cause it to explode and deal damage. Each gas can will now display individually in the inventory when players have more than one gas can to reduce confusion. You can also set up chain reactions of gas cans by shooting one and having another one next to it, but like I said, they do take up more inventory space now, so you will have to manage that. Next, they've added radio messages. Playing with players from different regions or in random duels or squad matches or players with no access to voice chat have made it difficult to establish team-based strategy through close communication between team members. To help solve this problem, they've introduced text-based radio messages that will help you communicate with your team more quickly and easily for successful strategy gameplay. On Xbox, click the R stick to open the radio message wheel user interface, and there are eight types of messages provided. Selected messages will be displayed on the left screen and immediately show to your teammates. Pings have various interactions. So select ping near a certain item and you can share the name and location of the pinged item with your teammate. 
You can also use ping on a care package or death crate to share their location. Ping the direction you want to move towards to share the direction with your teammate, and all those features will automatically place a marker on the map. Enemy Spotted allows you to quickly share the location of an enemy. Use Enemy Spotted at the enemy's location to mark it on the map, and the enemy spotted will ping and mark the enemy for your teammates only within 300 meters. The need ammo message works dynamically with the message reflecting the ammo type of the weapon you're holding. For example, if you select need ammo while holding the M416, the message sent to your teammates will be I need 556 ammo. You can mute radio messages from teammates individually by holding X in the team management menu. Kill distance has been added to center screen kill messages. The distance between you and an enemy you killed will be displayed alongside the standard kill message. Kill distance will only be shown to you if you kill an enemy over 100 meters away. This will appear only when you kill the enemy by yourself, and the down but not out kill message remains the same and won't show kill distance. Next, the featured map. There is no new change because the devs asked players on Twitter to vote for this and they decided to keep it as Aaron Gal. So the featured map for this month is still the same. We have one auto equip attachment improvement. The auto equip scope option will no longer be visible if the auto equip attachment option is toggled off. Next, updates to the store, and these won't be live until July 30th. Added to the store, 19 new weapon skins, which you can purchase with Gcoin or BP, 17 outfits, 10 summer themed items, 6 emotes, which you can purchase, and a level 1 helmet skin you can also buy. And I will go over that a little bit more in next week's update. Weapon Mastery has also been updated. You have a new emblem animation for every 10 level ups, a new tier emblem animation will be displayed. The Deagle has been added to the Mastery tab. Improved the last match pop-up user interface, so the weapon icon displayed in the last match pop-up now varies for each player. The displayed weapon icon follows the weapon soaring order applied to the last match page. Also, you can now equip and unequip charms in game. User interface and user experience changes. Added a brightness option for each map. Brightness options are now changeable per map to allow players more choice with each map's unique visual characteristics. A new option allows you to adjust brightness for each map individually, and you can also use the existing option to adjust brightness of all maps together. Improve the parachute user interface, and improve the survivor pass in-game missionless user interface. Finally, we have tons of bug fixes, which you guys can hopefully see on screen. Guys, tons of new features for you to test right now on the PTS, and all the stuff will be added to the live servers, including all those cosmetics, in just one week's time on July 30th. Let me know what you think of all the changes in the comments. I'll be back very soon with more info on PUBG as we get it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.